Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to solve some storage problems and these are going to be for like climate controlled storage solutions that you know is really nice to have in your truck, easily accessible and the best place to do that obviously in the crew cabs is underneath the rear seat here. Now you know these seats flip up super easy and you can see that GM has made their kind of a modest attempt here to give you a little bit of storage solution in here. And it's okay. Like I said, I appreciate that. It's better than nothing. If you had nothing here, everything you'd have would eventually just slide out every time you hit the brakes a little too hard. But it's, it really has a lot more potential for some greater storage here. We could maximize all of this space. That would be fantastic because, I mean, yeah, I can get some tie downs, you know, maybe I have too many tie, but that, no, you can never have too many tie downs. Um, you know, jumper cables, and then, you know, they already have the spot there for the jack, but I mean, I've got a lot more stuff that I wish I could store. My hitch, you know, uh, an ice scraper and snow for up here in Minnesota, I'm using that most days here at the moment. So, um, you know, I've got kids that are back here a lot and just dumping stuff here isn't really a viable option. I need to be able to get them in and out. So we want to improve this. And thankfully, Real Truck is going to be coming to the rescue here for how to improve this. So shout out to them for sponsoring this video. I am all decked out in them today because they're hooking us up. So uh, we're going to get into some solutions here. Um, yeah, let's get into it. This is Truck Ownership 101. I'm Spencer Elbebach. Class is now in session. The product that we're going to be reviewing today is the Duha Understeet storage system. And again, shout out to Real Truck for not just sending the open topped one, but they also sent the one with a um, lockable lid. So if you're looking for this extra storage, but also adding security to what you want to store, I have a feeling this is going to be a fantastic option for you. You've got some really large locks to go into those on both sides so you know if you have anything long that needs to be secure you know if you're the type of person that travels and carries something like that uh, where you want to always be prepared you know what i'm talking about right you see those slats you know they're not designed that way by accident they're totally for a you know a snow rake right <laughs> yeah right <laughs> So uh, yeah, you know, use your imagination there. But yeah, fantastic uh, option there. I know those dividers are quick removable. So um, depending on what you want to do, and nice and soft and everything, like this, this is going to be a great product. Actually, on my 07 um, extended cab, I had this uh, Duha under storage system. So I'm actually really excited to see how much storage is capable in a crew cab. So. Uh, we are going to next pull everything out of here, get those floor mats out, get that out of here, and see how fun the install is and check how much more stuff I can put in there. So let's get to it. So removing this was pretty easy. It was just a 10 mil deep socket, takes it all apart. Um, some really nice anchor points on that side, a really nice anchor point here. So this thing was pretty darn secure. There was one more anchor point on the driver's front corner. I'd take that one out last and be really careful with it. It <laughs> is pretty much just anchoring down to the carpet. So that really wasn't the strong one. So careful ripping and pulling on that one. So you can kind of see that is not a whole lot to that one, but again, really strong in a few other places. So let's get this out. Um, 
think I'm going to do the covered one first. I'm really interested to see how that hinge works with the rest of this setup. So obviously the other one is going to be pretty much the same thing, just without a lid. So let's check that out. And just before we get started, if you have either Duha system, this is how you want to get your area set up. We've got our floor mat in, of course, from the factory. So we don't have a lip here blocking anything. Um, obviously things taken off here. It's nice that they made really long bolts from these from the factory. So it puts adding an extra thing, plenty of thread there still to bite. And then this is the mounting bracket for your bottle jack. And you want to take the bolts out. Um, you know, get the bottle jack out of there first, of course, and then actually leave this plate in first and the Duha storage system will rest on top of that and it's got cutouts. So you still are able to lock the bottle jack in. The bottle jack, you just spin that little red handle and the bottle jack will compress in a little bit and then it comes out and then to mount the bottle jack back in, you extend the bottle jack a little bit and it kind of pinches itself. There's some little, let's see if I can enhance here. There you go. So yeah, these little tabs grab into some holes in the base of the bottle jack and then actually extending the bottle jack uh, gets it to pinch against that point. So that is what actually locks the bottle jack in place. So uh, yeah, leave the bolts, leave the, uh, the nuts off, of course, uh, once you put on the storage system and then you'll bolt that down. That'll keep your Duha from sliding around on you. So yeah, that's it. Now we can get into the install here. Install is complete. Review time. First, everything in the down position. Um, fantastic. Now, I'm 6'2", and I'm a leggy, leggy guy. And, you know, obviously my feet would come up more forward. I've got tons of space. You know, I can't kick my feet underneath here, but oh, why on earth would I? <laughs> um, so, you know, that's great. Look, I mean, that looks factory. Like the other blacks in the truck, it matches perfectly. So that's fantastic. Um, you know, it comes all the way up here. Let's take a look at underneath here. So I do have the uh, factory floor mats put in, so everything fit great with those. Lift this up, lift this up. I mean, fantastic. When you drop this down, look at it from the side, uh, your maximum storage, everything is secure. Everything is bolted down from the inside. So again, the heads of these. So far security I mean it's anchored down in the back a couple places anchored down in the back here in a bit so yeah if you lift the front you can maybe get a little bit of wiggle out of it but that's not really the the point to anchor to there you're going through your floor mats and carpet and as we saw in the stock one there really isn't a good answer for that so it's still secure nothing's going to be sliding forward on you lift this up and they got the hinge in the perfect location so that sits there beautifully um, they've got all of your storage figured out for your now if you had to have a flat your bottle jack all the um, attachments there uh, in place again they came up with solutions to to maximize the storage and everything is tucked back in there nice um, again in the instructions duha had it really clear but they really maximized um here i'll see if i can show you uh that bottle jack actually has the mounting plate underneath so after you take all the old stuff you you mount the uh plate first and then put the duha system in and then attach everything down so uh, <laughs> super efficient with the space and i appreciate that because yeah this is uh, massive amounts of volume here uh, there are some soft hook and loop reusable tie style zip ties, so like Velcro reusable ones. And let's see if I can get some light here. So you see those little slats there? So that's what they're for. I thought maybe they would be for some additional securing of the Duha, but nope. Uh, they're for whenever you've got something uh, valuable <laughs> uh, that you want to secure. Uh, you know, so you're always prepared like this, right? <laughs> YouTube is not going to get me for uh, any kind of inappropriate content here. So yeah, our uh, 
snow removers, right, <laughs> are perfectly, uh, you can run that soft hook and loop style here. I gotta, right here. So again, soft Velcro hook and loop, reusable, run them through those little slats. And again, soft padding here, soft hook and loop. I, any off-roading, bouncing around, trying to get to your spot, um, that just seems incredible. So again, uh, if we are going to close it on something other than a, let's see if I can get that down, or maybe push that a little more forward. <laughs> uh, I will not be denied. correct length representation there money okay <laughs> let's talk about the locking system again very large metal latches there going into these strong u bolts that are all secured looks good with nylocks i like it Quarter turn is all it takes. There we go. Quarter turn. It's the same key. They actually gave me four keys, so uh, but they're all the same number, so that's nice. Um, but lock down, secure again. The uh, anchor points are in the back, so I do notice a little bit of wiggle there, but not bad. And then again, getting a good look at the finished result when this is down I mean that's beautiful tons of storage super clean colors matching everything's fit and finished phenomenal that is there you go. that seems to be the, that's going to be the answer for a lot of people let's take a look at the open one and see how well that works with basically the seat acting as a lid all right we have the non-lockable version fully installed big reveal let's see what we got in here boom <laughs> oh this is so much better oh, wow let's get some more light in here this is insane like i've got my huge tow and stow bmw hitch um all of my ratchet straps i need more ratchet straps that i think i have so much storage in here this is incredible I have my my snow brush and ice scraper. I'm not even using this last one yet. You know, all of the factory stuff is still like this is all locked down. Like, what an answer! I mean, like, obviously, if my brush was wet, I probably would put it in here right away. But you know, just a place to keep it. Oh my gosh! And I'm not even like. I'm not even pushing it. Like there is so much more potential in here for more stuff. I I mean, if you use your under seat storage and I just, I don't know how you would, you would go away from this product. This is phenomenal. Um, again, it looks super clean. Like this is a legit, like, I mean, yeah, the top lifts a little bit because again, the anchor points are in the back. You can't really, Unless you want to attach to carpet like they did there. I mean, but it's the concern is it, you know, hitting the brakes hard. You wouldn't want something sliding forward. And that's not going to happen. Just wow. Super clean. Maximum storage. Works with the factory all weather floor mats. I, five out of five, Duha. You nailed this one. All right, let's get a. Uh, closure on this video here so uh, obviously two fantastic storage solutions just depending on your needs if you need that lockable security slam dunk way to go with that one if you want quick easy access to your stuff maximum storage potential you don't need the security this is the best option you could possibly have you're going to be able to put pretty much whatever you want uh, in a nice stowed clean way so um if you've followed me, you've seen my videos, you probably know I've got a couple of toddlers 
and unfortunately uh, this is not how my cab typically looks. I've got two car seats and everything and unfortunately when the car seats are in place I can't flip my seats up. So if you have toddlers or if there's a reason why you can't flip your seats up uh, this may not be the best solution for you. If you are in that small group like me, uh, I actually have another product that Real Truck is going to be sending me. Brand new, hasn't been out in the market yet. Uh, as soon as uh, the company makes it, they're going to send me one and I'll review that one. I have a feeling I'm going to like that one a lot too. And for my needs with car seats for the foreseeable future, um, I'm going to need to be looking to something else too. But if I didn't... Uh, the Duha is definitely the way I would go. So uh, again, huge shout out to Real Truck. Thank you guys so much for making all of these videos possible. If you like this stuff, my I have links in the description. If you follow those links, they actually help support the channel. So uh, if you appreciate what I do, um, support it'll support them, it'll support me. We can keep these videos coming. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me. I'm almost at my 50th video. So uh, it's been an awesome journey. So until next time, Class dismissed. Hey, honey. Yep, yeah, I got all the video shot. Hey, listen, I was thinking about holding on to one of those duhas because. I mean, we only got a few more years of kids in car seats, right? I mean, after a couple, I can put these up. You're what?